I am, I am Billionaire Charlie. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button for me, man. And go donate to my cash app, cash tag, Billionaire Charlie. You dig what I'm saying? And go pick up. Free me from the traps at my Amazon link right there below, man. But we gonna get into it today. Salt crystal for all this negative energy up in here. We gonna talk about it, man. And I got an unbelievable story, man. A crazy, unbelievable story, man, that I got to tell y'all about, man. Come walk through this journey with me, you know? Let's talk about it, man. How Kel Gill, African Bond Bada, Hassan Campbell, and Young Pharaoh, man. This is an unbelievable story, guys. Let's get into it, man. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about it, man. Hassan Campbell, man, he loved going to the zoo, watching the animals, make love that's one of his hobbies he take his camera and he record them and he take pictures man at the zoo you know what i'm saying one of the zookeepers told me one time that hassan camel said one of the big gorillas reminded him of african bombada you know he's he's one of them guys man he go to the zoo and wa first he watched the gorillas then he watched the monkeys then he watched the zebras then he watched uh the seals and all every animal he watch him making love that's his thing man he enjoyed that, you know what I'm saying? And that's what he enjoyed watching and looking at, Hassan Campbell, man. You know what I'm saying? And he said one of the, the gorillas remind him of Africa by Bada, you know? Now, as strange as weird as this is, this is what he do on his spare time when nobody see him on camera, Hassan Campbell. He go to the zoo and watch the animals make love. He like watching the elephants, you know? He watch the elephants, the fish. You know what I'm saying? He always has camera and he like watching him make love. He say, he say it does something for his spirit, he says. You know? I don't know what he do, but I got to soak Crystal up out of here. You know? He, he, he says it does something for his spirit to watch the monkeys and, and watch the gorillas and the elephants. You know what I'm saying? Making love the lions and tigers and bears. You know? It's his thing. He loved it. But see, he didn't know the African Bombada and Kev Gills, you know, what's that face Kev Gills make? Shitty cuz, stupid cuz, retarded cuz, what did we say all that? Retarded cuz, battery cuz, oh, oh, goodwill cuz, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Kev Gills and African Barbada, they came together and they found, they found out where Hassan Camel be at. And they said they was going to tighten them up. You know, so I see the footage as Hassan Campbell, not Hassan Campbell, but Kev Gibbs, an African bad brother, was walking into the zoo. As they're walking into the zoo, I see a homeless man, a prostitute, and a crackhead wearing Kev Gibbs shirts, and they was waving at Kev Gibbs. And I see the zookeeper with a Kev Gibbs mug, you know what I'm saying? Coffee and Kush. I mean, coffee and cut t-shirts and coffee and cut mug. I seen it all on the homeless man, the crackhead lady, prostitute. You know what I'm saying? I seen it all on them. You know what I'm saying? They had on it. They was wearing the, they was wearing the coffee and cut t-shirts, you know? So there's nothing wrong with that. They walking in there. But see, they don't know about Kev Gills. Kev Gills study, you know what I mean, martial arts, you know? He's very talented, man. And when he seen her, as they walked into the zoo and he seen Hassan Campbell, people don't know that he is one of the avatars, you know? He's an airbender. His head light up and all type of uh, uh, all type of lightning and stuff come out of his forehead. He, he, he ran into uh, uh, Hassan Campbell, ah, you know, his head lighting up. You know what I'm saying? You know he got a big forehead. He ran into him, ah, he did like a, 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 a giraffe or a rhino type of thing to Hassan Campbell. Hassan Campbell, they fight. <laughs> And then um, I see that on the footage that I keep seeing on the footage is Africa by about he beating on his chest. I love boys. He look like a whole gorilla. Ah, he said, I love boys. I love boys. <laughs> I said, what is going on with Africa by bottom, man? What is going on, man? And he seen her son, Cam, he popped him in the head. Boop, boop, boop. Him and Irma and Kev Gill beat him up. Back, 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 back. They catch him with left and right. And then her son, Cam, on stand on camera there. He lied about everything. He's a homosexual. He loved men. He was telling everybody, man. And I remember Kel Gibb kicked him right in the jar. Fuck him. <laughs> you know? 
It was one of those moments. Came out of nowhere, man. Like static shock. Out of nowhere, this this dude with dresses come out. It was young Pharaoh, man. Looking like static shock. He caught him. Pew, pew, pew. Everybody was beating the heck out of the sun account. Pew, 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 pew. Catch him with DDTs and slamming them. You know what I'm saying? Put them all in the uh, all in the elephant poop. You know what I'm saying? Beat them up. Pew, pew, pew. You know what I mean? And then. That, what was so crazy, man, is at the end, man, he left him in there for the gorillas to take advantage of a son camel. But he he walked out of there with a smile on his face. I really think that's what he liked. He liked that type of thing, you know? Like I told y'all, y'all didn't know Kev Gill was a real avatar. He's an airbender. He could fly in the, he could fly in the air with his head. He could bend water. Ah! He could bend fire air. You know, retarded cuz, Superman cuz, Bach cuz, cigarette cuz, peace cuz. What do you mean? He was like, you know, Kel Gill was getting all into the cuz. Yeah, cuz, cuz he cuz, you know, retarded cuz, limousine cuz, apple and green bean cuz, for the balloon cuz. He was like getting a carrot. I was like, oh, stop. Kel Gill, how many cuz do you have out here, man? Good gracious, man. Lordy. He called Hassan Camel booty cuz. I was like, booty cuz? What the heck is that, ladies and gentlemen? Booty cuz? That's what we gonna call Hassan Camel? Huh? Kev Gilf was just going crazy, man. He started doing avatar bending with his forehead and back up, back up, back up, you know? Like I told y'all, man, y'all didn't know that his head lights up, man, in the dark time, you know? What's that Kev Gill face? Hey, look, man. <laughs> oh, man. Had to get a good laugh here, man. Y'all keep tuning in to your boy, man. Come laugh with your boy, man. Love all them guys out there. Much respect to their show, man. Kev Gill, Young Farrah, Hassan Camel. Much respect to that African bad battle, man. If he ain't do what he did, if he did do that for real, you know? But if he did do that, that was despicable, man. We can't accept you in the community if that's what you want to do. We got to get this salt crystal out and let it fly. Boom! Get up out of here if you was doing that to a son and, and savage, you know? You know what I'm saying? Son told a story that really touched me, man. He said he walked in the room and it was little guys in there and he, all he could smell was booty. Smell like old elephant poop. Smell like a bum pissed on the box for 20, 30 days. It just had a funk to it. It smell like booty and old, like somebody didn't wipe their butt or something. You know, he said, smell like an old African house from 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? He said it had a really bad aroma in there. And I was like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Then he said, every time you go to sleep, you can think of African by bottle. Beard on his neck. He always says it on his neck when he make a love with his wife. He think about African by about a beard all on his neck. It's like, oh my gosh. He got his, he think about this man beard on his neck? No. Then he got mad at Cam Gibb a while back about him joking him, saying that that was really his boyfriend. I think the whole YouTube world saying the same thing. Hassan, listen to me, Hassan. You know what I'm saying? I have to agree with Kev Gill on this one because I'm like, you was a 12-year-old man. When I was a 12-year-old man, I want to let you know what I was doing. I was packing and I was selling and rocking. You know? I was. I was packing and selling and rocking. You know, the rocket. You know? I was got the rocket and had the rocket. You know? So if a man would have tried to violate me, he would have had to get the rocket. Bop, 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 bop. And there would have been a hundred more bloods that would have came out of the cut that would have been ready to go. Yes, I was a blood. <laughs> they would have came out and it would have been time to go. You know? And I heard that you was about their life. So I just don't believe in a 12 year old. See, my wife told me a story about this preacher one time that had a young boy or whatever the case may be. I said, how old was this young boy that was doing this? He was 15 years old. He said that's what he was. He was he, as he became a man, he let the world know that he was a homosexual. And he really was in love with that pastor. And they got into a relationship afterwards. And I feel like Hassan Camel 
is fake and a funk. When y'all, when I watched the young Pharaoh talk about how he was saying that that was his sugar daddy, I believed him. Because I watched the interview with Hassan Kamala say, yes, he paid for my college. Yes, if I ever needed an African my battle, he paid for my stuff. He paid for my purses and dresses and everything I need to wear. I heard this out of your mouth, Hassan. So why are you mad at Kev Gill? Why? You know, so Kev Gill is a great and amazing person, man. He said a lot of cuz, retarded cuz, lightning bug cuz, you know, water bug cuz. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling Kev Gill right now. I want to see t-shirts with his face on it, with a blunt in the mouth, and say, let's go, cuz. You know? I want that shirt, personally. Autograph is sad. You know? And I want a uh, young Pharaoh shirt, face on it. Bitch, bitch, bitch. I want to say, say bitch block, a hundred times on it. You know, I want that shirt. Autograph is sad. You know? And then I want her sign. Camel shirt that say yes, I really am gay. <laughs> I love y'all, man. I'm about to get up out of here, man. I love the comedy, man. Joke play around, man. Love y'all, y'all out there. Much respect, man. Come for, come mess with your boy, man. I am being there, Charlie, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button for me, man. Cash tag being there, Charlie, man. Y'all go show them guys respect, man. Kev Gill, great and amazing show, man. Same thing with Young Pharaoh. Hassan Camel, great show. You know what I'm saying? I can't speak on the African bad battle situation. <laughs> but Hassan Camel, great show. Uh, on Kev Gill, great show. I love his show, man. And I love Young Pharaoh's show. Hassan Camel, you know what I mean? With me, with Hassan Camel, just come out the closet, bro. That's all. We all know what it is, bro. Just come out the closet, bro. We're going to love you anyway, bro. You know? Just come out the closet, let the people know. <laughs>